Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor. Let's just be in the mood of worship as we listen to this. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Good morning, family. Good morning, family. I just want to, to lift up our voice. We are going to use Psalms 103 and we're going to praise the Lord. And uh, from verse 1 to 5, we we'll start with verse 1. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiven all thy iniquity, who healed all thy diseases, who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercy, who satisfied thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like an eagle. This can only be the goodness and the awesomeness of God in our life. So, in alignment with everything and with all the the the, the blessings that. He has promised us with everything that he has done. I just want us to lift up our voice. Let's bless, bless his name with all our soul. Let's use our soul to praise him this morning. Amen. The way you are being led, as you are being led by the Spirit, use your soul to praise the Lord this morning. There's a lot that he has done. There are a lot of, lot of things that the Lord has done for us that we really need to open our mouth and praise his name for everything that he has done. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, with my whole soul, with my whole being. Lord, I thank you for King of glory. Lord, for everything that you have done, Lord God Almighty. Lord, for your special grace, for your special mercy, for your loving kindness, for your goodness, for your tender mercy, for your love. Lord, for crowning all God Almighty in my head. Lord, I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for satisfying my mouth with good things, oh Lord God Almighty. Lord, you have delivered me. You have forgiven my sins, oh God. You have healed me from everything. Every form of sickness, you, Lord, every disease. form of disease is Father, I say thank you, oh God. Father, I go to sleep, I go with you. Father, I wake up, I go, I get to the place of glory. Father, I say thank you for glory. My God, I thank you for how far you have brought me and my entire family. Father, we say thank you for your eyes to see. Lord, for the mouth that you have given us to praise you, oh God, we say thank you. 
thank Bless you for you, our God. legs, for our arms, oh God. Father, we say thank you. For eyes to see, Father, we say thank you. Lord, we worship you this morning. We bless you, oh God. Trust, tread, Lord God Almighty. We say thank you, oh God. Lord, for everything, for fighting our battles, oh God Almighty, we say thank you. Lord, we thank you. How wonderful, how ah. excellent, how beautiful, Lord God Almighty. Lord, you have healed every form of sickness, every form of disease. Lord, my system, my organs, everything is in shape, is in position, oh God. Father, I say thank you, oh God. Father, I thank you for every greater part of my body that is in motion. Lord, I say thank you. Father, you're making oh I want. Father, I thank you, Lord, that I have hands that I can clap, I have legs that I can walk, oh Lord. I say thank you, oh King of Glory. Mouth that I can eat, Father. I say thank you. Eyes that I can see, oh God. Lord, I say thank you for my nerves, my digestive system, oh God. Father, I say thank you. Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for my Lord ones. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the one that to know you, oh God. For your love towards them. Father, we say thank you, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for your special grace and mercy. That Lord God Almighty. Lord, you fight our battles for us, O King of Glory. Even when things are as difficult as one Lord God makes you are there to fight for us. Father, we say thank you. Lord, we will never stop saying thank you. We will never stop appreciating you, oh God, for your faithfulness. We say thank you. Indeed, you are too faithful, Lord, to fail us, oh God. Even when we don't know what to do, Lord God Almighty, your word says you are else shall die. That at the 11th hour, Father, you, Lord, you are here, Lord God Almighty. Father, we are saying thank you, oh God. Father, we are today thanking you this morning. Oh, make it a boast in the love of shame, dear Lord. Master, dear Lord, oh, say, dear Lord, 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 dear L
and then family. Um, <clears throat> I do believe that there's a purpose that each and every one of us, we do give thanks to God in our life. And I want to believe that <clears throat> he has done a lot for us that we cannot take it for granted. That's why we are giving him thanks. And I also want to believe that <clears throat> we do give thanks to God just to to confirm that we all we depend on him we depend on his special grace and mercy that's why we do give thanks to him and because the bible says it's impossible without faith you cannot even serve the lord so i just want i also want to believe that why the purpose why we are giving thanks to god why because of the faith that we have to, towards him that's why we are giving thanks to him and for all the good things because he has done a lot in our midst. When we look at those things, we, we cannot take it for granted. We have to give him thanks. So in the book of First Thessalonians 5, it talks about in everything, in everything, we should give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In our midst, we we'll just just our life, just being on this platform. It's in everything, every little bit of thing, we have to come back and appreciate it. Because it's not by making place by him. Mm -hmm. Romans 8 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose. All things, so in everything, be it, be it good or be it bad, he has a reason, he has, he has a purpose why he allows it to happen. But at the same time, we have to acknowledge it and come back and give him thanks. Just like Hosea 4, 6 said, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. But at the same time, we also have to acknowledge the fact that the strength, the wisdom, the ability that we all have, it comes from him and not from us. So still in the mode of thanksgiving and using this scripture, I still want us to just lift up our voice, use each and every scripture in everything Look at your life, your family members, your loved ones. Just look at their life and you still lift up your voice. Today we are in the mood of giving thanks to God. Amen. 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 I will just thank the Lord. Father, I just want to thank you for all the money. Amen. 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 My God, to make it of God Almighty, all for our good, Lord Father. Even when you don't know, Lord God Almighty, but Father, you always do it for us. You make everything fit for us, Lord God. Father, you come because of God Almighty. 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 Thank you for the ability to be able to wake up this morning. Thank you, Lord. I bless your name. I worship you. I know you. I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. You know that all things work together for our good. You know that I call you. You that love God. And to them that are called. Thank you. 
let everyone everything everything everyone that we are supposed to praise god wherever we are wherever we are we are supposed to praise god let everything my emphasis went on the six. Let everything that happened praise the Lord. But once it praise He the Lord, praise God in the sanctuary, praise Him in the firmament of His power, praise Him for His mighty act, praise Him according to His excellent greatness, praise Him with the sound of trumpets, praise Him with pastries and harps, praise Him with the timbers, dance, praise Him with strings, instruments, and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbal. Praise him upon the high-sounding cymbal. Let everything that has bread praise the Lord. Amen. 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 This morning, according to what the psalmist was saying, all of this is oh. to you and I. So I just want us to lift up our voice. And I just want us to continue in the mood of praising and thanking the Lord. He said, let everything that had bread, we all had bread. So I want us to acknowledge the bread of life in our lungs and begin to thank him because we live in a world today that a lot of people, they are dying. Some are, some are in the hospital, they, they are on oxygen, but we have, it, so we have it for free. Let's just acknowledge that fact and thank this God for his mighty acts, his excellence, his greatness. Let's just lift up our voice, continue in the mood of, appreciating him for his goodness. Amen. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, Father, we just want to thank, thank you for the gift of life. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for Thank you for being other, Father. Thank you for being God. Thank you for being Lord of our lives. Thank you, Lord of God. It's what I want to do. I want to say thank you so many that are looking for these friends. Thank you, Lord but Lord, you have given us some free, Lord God Almighty, Father, we thank you. That we thank you for the heart of our own God. Father, we thank you for the gift of knowing you. Let everything that has has been Father, we are grateful you this morning. We thank you for the almighty gift of friendship. God, we thank you for knowing you, O God. If it is an honor to know you, it is an honor to know you. It is an honor to worship you. It is a privilege that I say thank you. I'm not taking it for granted. I lift up your name, my glory, the most I like is the most I like is so this morning, Father, I say thank you. Thank you, Lord. I'm so grateful and appreciative of, of not only you, and of our lives, but giving us good help, of God. There are many people who are doing so because of the event of God. They cannot even talk because they have tricks of God. They cannot eat because they have to eat to repeat it. 
Father, they cannot walk because they are in cautious or in we live in a country where we can speak a word. God, I am grateful. Thank you. You bless our children. You bless our homes. You bless our jobs. In the name of Jesus, you have accepted us as your children. And when you look at us, you don't see us, but you see Jesus. You see the blood of Jesus. I said, Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I, you. I don't take anything for granted, oh God. I don't take anything for granted because it is your grace. It is your grace. It is your grace. In the name of Jesus. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will be the one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything I love you. I love you. I just want to say, how can I start your life? Thank God you are doing it. Father, <laughs> Father, Wherever it's supposed to work and come back, well, the many who have gotten in their cars just to leave and never came back. There are many who had plans, but they are not able to get their plans done. But the Lord, because of your grace, because of your grace, because of your grace, we're alive, Lord. We're alive, we're awake, and we're asleep. Lord, I'm grateful, Lord. I am grateful, I am grateful, Lord. In whatever we do, we always put our trust in the Lord. I know there are so many that they, they, may, they may trust in so many other things, in so many other spirits, in so many other um, whatever it is that they, they worship, but I know our trust on this platform is in the Lord. Amen. So I'm going to read from Psalms 20, verse 1 says, The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the Lord God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. So this morning, I just want to stay in the mood of appreciation and thanks. I just want us to thank the Lord that he always hear us. Like in this world that we are today, with all the crises, as we call upon him, he hears us. He gives us his attention. That he uses his name to defend this generation. Mm. Amen. 
Amen. And I also want us to also instill in appreciating the Lord. I also want us to thank the Lord because he has sent helper in this helpless, in most people that are helpless today, he has sent helper to help them. And also he has sent helper to strengthen them in one way or the other. So I just want us to lift up our voice and really appreciate him and thank him for hearing our cry because the other gods, when you call to them, they will not even hear, they will not even give you the attention. But the God that we serve, he will always hear us and he will always give us his, his attention and he will use his name. They say the name of Jesus is so strong. So he will use his name to defend us in this generation. Amen. Amen. Father, we just want to say thank you, Lord God Almighty, for you always hear us, Lord, when we call you in your glory. Father, we thank you. Thank you for allowing us access into your presence. Father, we can come into the holy of God and commune with you. We can come, oh Father, Lord, and be able to talk with you. We can come and hear you speak to us. We can come, oh Father, Lord, and your word ministers to us. You may need us, oh God, the comforts of our need. So I will thank you, Lord. You have released your help over us. Oh, my God. Thank you for your brother, Lord. You wish out of your sanctuary. 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 We thank you all here in the name of Jesus. We are giving of this name to you. Father, we say thank you. Send help from the sanctuary. We thank you, Father. We remember all my offerings and we accept my blessings. Thank you, O Lord Jesus. We rejoice in your salvation to the cross. We rejoice in your name, God, for Christ to fulfill all my petitions. Fulfill the petitions of my blood, O Lord Jesus. For making us all the petitions of my blood. Remember all our petitions. We thank you, Lord Jesus. we have come to acknowledge you. We continue to say for everything. We pray for you. Everything works so good for this. God, we thank you for everything that is happening. Because we know the things that are from Lord, I come to you. Thank 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 you. Amen. 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 I also Amen. want us to verse three say that um, he remembered all the offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice. Grant thee according to thy own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God will set up our banners. The Lord will fill all thy petitions. So I just want us to lift up our voice and um, I'm giving thanks for remembering all our fasting, remembering all our prayers, all our worship to him. Let's just then verse 4 say, he has granted us our heart desire. Let's appreciate him that as we call, as we present before him our heart desires, he grant them unto us. Amen. And also mm -hmm. he has caused us to rejoice in the salvation. Amen. Mm -hmm. I just want us to, in this, in this, from, from this is promises that he has given us I just want us to lift up our voice and really thank him for remembering all the sacrifice. Oh, amen. amen. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, Father, I just want to thank you for remembering our...
Father, you have given us victory, Lord God Almighty. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you. And the name of the God we say up on our banner, the Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord God Almighty, for coming and us to rejoice. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for coming us to give you our banner. Lord, we remember all things of glory to this season, Lord God Almighty, that you have granted us everything that we can have in our hands. Father, you have granted us all that we have in our hands. Joyful moments, Father, you are always we thank you are there, this morning I'd like us to we'll be praying for the, his will, his plan, and his purpose that will be established in our life. I will read from the book of Matthew 6, 9 to 13. 9 says, After this manner, therefore, pray our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done with God as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debtors as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thy kingdom and thy power and thy glory forever and ever. Amen. So I just want us this morning to lift up our voice. We are praying that his will and his plan in our life will be established. Amen. Mm-hmm. Let's just lift up our voice and let's pray the perfect will of the Lord to be established in our life. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we are praying for King of glory that your perfect will and your perfect plan, Lord God, must now be established in our life, in the lives of the body of Christ, in the life of the nation, in the life of our family members. Father, we pray that you establish your plan, Lord, according to your word, King of glory, that let thy will be done in our life, let your will be done in the life of our family members, let your will be done in this land, on this land, on this land, on this nation, all over the world, King of glory, that you establish your will, you establish your Lord, plan, your purpose, your agenda. Lord, you establish of glory in the name of our Lord Jesus. And Lord God Almighty, Father, you say you will give us our daily bread. You will supply us, Lord God Almighty, with our needs, with our daily bread. Lord, King of glory, Father, we thank you, O Abba, that this is your promise. 
according to your word that you give us our best friend. Father, you say you we should give those that have pressed our lives us, our for those that have offended us in one way or the other of the King of Glory. Father, we just want to say thank you, Lord Almighty. Knowing that you are a mess of God, we are a mess of God, Lord God Almighty. Lord, whosoever has wronged us, whosoever has offended us in the King of Glory. Father, you say we should give one another. Lord, Lord, you say we are a mess of God. We stand God and on the Lord of 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 of the the Lord of the Lord of the Lord Lord, you supply our needs. Oh, Lord, you supply our needs. That will never change. No, no, Father, God Almighty, you supply our needs on the daily basis. Father, we say thank you, thank you, King of Kings, O Lord, thank you, Lord, as you deliver us from every evil, every arrow, arrow that flies in the day, during the time that you deliver us. Thank you as you Let your perfect will, let your will be done in our hearts. Let your faithfulness be seen in our lives. Jesus, my name, we pray. Amen. 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 It says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that drink. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongues with singing. Then said they among the hills, the Lord had done great things for us. Amen. So as we are trusting the Lord, I want us to just lift up our voice and pray. 
that in the world that we are today, that the good Lord, that he's going to do something so drastic and something so amazing that the world will see and know this can only be God and it cannot yes. be man. That there will be so surprised yes. that people will be full with laughter and say, what has God done? Let's just lift up our voice and trust him for that amazing, drastic, wonderful thing that he will do that will put fear in people and they'll say, what has God done? God, what has God done? Amen. Amen. Father, we are believing that you are the Lord God Almighty. The thing with that you are the Lord God Almighty. Father, my Father, I worship you this morning. Lord God, for Father, Lord, we continue to to you because we have confidence in you. We come to you because we trust in you. We come to you because we rely on you. We depend on you. You are a dependent God. We rely on you. You are a rely on you. The Lord will be to us again this day from the gospel. from any iniquity, from any darkness, from anything that does not matter. Father, we are trusting and believing and having confidence in you, knowing that you, O Lord, are the Alpha and the Omega. Father, we just have to Ba 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 
Thank you, Jesus. Do something new in our life. Do something new in our life. Lord will be filled with laughter once more. That indeed, Lord, that Lord, that you have done something excellent in our lives. We can Father, you have done something. 
have done something new in our lives. You have done something new in our lives, Lord. It's your sacred name this morning because you have done something new in our lives. Thank you, Father, for doing something new in the life of the because we know, Lord, you have Thank you, Lord, for doing something new in the life of Thank you, Lord, for doing something new in the life of Sister Mary. Thank you, Father, for doing something new in the life of Sister Mary. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for doing something new in the life of Sister Justin and Sister Sister Perita. Thank you, Lord, for doing something new in the life of Sister Edima. Thank you, Father, for doing something new in the life of Brother Kingsley and Sister Moody. Lord, we bless your sacred name. Bless your name, Lord. That you've done in our lives this morning. Glorify you, O oh, most gracious. Glorify your name, O oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Amen. Amen. I just want us to, the Bible says in the first John 5:14, and this is a confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Yeah. And if we know that he has hear us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desire of yeah. all down here is prayer. Unto thee, all flesh come to. So we have come unto him this morning. And we have confidence that as we are leaving this platform, every prayer picture that we have presented before him, that he has heard us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 May we share the grace. May the grace of the Lord Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. God. And the first of the Lord of the be with us now and forever. Surely, follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall as well in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Family, thank you so much. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.